was, but it was versus Fnatic, MIBR, and Big. Um, so, and the overtime game versus Big. Whereas, that's not very recently. And, uh, and, and, I, and IP have played it, and they lost to Liquid in overtime uh, just the other day. So, I don't know. I know NIP can be good at Mirage, and I think they showed some signs of it here. So, it's potential that they are able to pull this off. But, for now, it's Heroic's pick. They showed us wonderful things on Inferno. Had us convinced that it was going to be an easy close. Only for the stars of Heroic in Stown and Jabby to turn things upside down. But here we are. Pistol, number one. Map, number two. And the first frags, Brolins. Rez gets pinched between Palace and Connector. Still just turns it. Oh, that is three! Oh. R-E-Z! And then suddenly Shush falls down into the back of the site. But what hope does he have with a god like this nearby? Oh, put on your good shades, son. That was nice. Put him to bed. A clean third. Not P2K propaganda. Oh, that poor soul. This one was hard enough. Bah! Wow. Sit down, stown. And the ninjas feel good after that. That's nothing short of enormous. A lot of good moments today. Yeah. Well, when Nothing's... push comes to shove, man, when it matters most, when it's fall finals or fall showdown. Yeah. If you're saving up, now's the time to use them. For sure. Oh, shock and awe. All right, heroic. No bomb plant, so an inevitable force. A little bit of damage there versus Esetag. But so far, no real footing here for Heroic to get things moving. Shush is thinking about maybe calling players over. He could time something nicely out from Palace. He would have Brolin to deal with over towards Khan. Rez next to him. Hampus not far. Kind of sneaky from Heroic. Finally going to start using some utilities here. Whispers of their presence. Hampus. He was asking for a fight. Oh, and he gets one. Are you kidding? Stown with a deeg shot through smoke, straight to the face. Then suddenly Brolin's at bat. Rez has got the element of surprise. He's surrounded and only oh. able to put one kill up. They've got their opening. They've got their plan. Oh, and Yabby almost dies, but he gets the bomb down safely. With info. Ooh, Yabby got some huge leverage with that kill. Rez was on for the multi for sure. And now can they even win? As Tech could smoke spawn if they'd like to. He's the one with the kit. Frag for Yabby. Done. Dealt with. Dusted. A duo left, both towards ticket. Plopsky point blank kills Shush. There's a question about Kadian. Sprays off the mark. Esetag off the defuse. And the MP9 catching Kadian just with seconds to spare. Wow, he'll have it. Yeah, and the smoke goes down on the bomb. It's a nice kill from Plopsky. A great nade from Esetag. And again, some further good utility usage overall. We've seen some fantastic utility usage on Inferno. Like, honestly. Watch this. Refreshing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know you are there. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, kind of sounds like a little bit of nervous laughter. Because that one was going south. But they push it onto the scoreboard. A little half by this time from Heroic. Something electric into the B site. They'll go. Jabby's caught and Rez killed. That's over towards A. Traded. Plopsky right oh, in the middle Plopsky. of the pack. Oh, okay, man. Triple kill with the Fomus. This is what I'm saying, dude. Plopsky, when he was playing uh, versus Liquid on the B site, yeah, they lost the map in overtime, but he was not the reason at all. He's been one of the best B anchors recently. It is showing. Now Kadian in the no man's land, swept under the rug for the 3-0 start. It all comes down, I mean, the flashes were really good, right? They had the cat player blind as they crossed up. Tech 9 could have made that real hairy, but Plopsky's nice little reposition. He was over at the van, made a tiny bit of presence, had them following ghosts, 
comes back and takes three out and helps out bro and i think they all even stay alive first buy on the cards comes through round four mac 10 for yabby ak's for the rest plopski after that 3k yeah go ahead and hang on to the famas go for the top mid control smoke to the window s attack has to give up line of sight and it's down with a quick check of the underground ensures there's no one creeping Pause breaks in this game. Just a lot of action. Testy situations, even with low buys. This one's full guns. Ooh. He's inside smoke, knows one's gone by. That gets dealt Ooh. with, though. So, two kills, but then there's a little bounce back. Kadian versus Plopski locking horns inside the van. Plopski's losing teammates all around him. All the other kills happen while we're watching Plopski in the thick of it, and so we're left with s tag in the 1v2 clutch attempt. Shush planting on the front end of the site, Molly's on his feet, flushes him out, but not quite into s tags crosshair, and so the retake still needs to be teased together. He's got a smoke, he's got a flash. And he's been given a little space. Through the door he'll go, ready for Kadian, who's got the cover. It's gonna prime Shush to start working, coming at it from the other side. S tag. oh, fumbles the ball, starts playing with the silencer, and it's heroic on the board. Why shouldn't you be able to disable that, by the way? You should be able to, yeah. 100%. Uh, I, it looks a little messy from Plopski, but I'll, honestly, I feel like if B site Mirage have dropped your fan pillar smoke and play behind it, and his teammates were dying in that situation, but he stayed alive for so long, had some opportunities to frag, and only when everybody died did he have just nowhere to fall back out of, but... Uh-oh! Oh, I thought oh. some, brought some good energy. That would have been really funny. That would have been really... I mean, you know, not if you're heroic, but it would have been <laughs> really laughing? funny. Yeah. yeah. Luckily, Shush survives it. Barely. 10 health. We've got a pack of players behind those boxes. CTs with nades? No, no frags. Oh, Brolin didn't see him. Maybe a weird smoke rotation from him. Opportunity missed, and they'll start to fast crawl. I don't know if they're going to expect this. Look how quickly they've moved. And it's actually off of Cat. Oh, he's trying to get eyes over it, but nope. No gap, no angle. Plopski could deter a commitment to the catwalk, but nope. Instead, Jabby just rounds the corner, takes his head clean off. Hampus has got an answer from the back of the B site, though. Kadian quickly slipping into the connector where he came from, and think, that's B cleared. I think Prius is going cross-eyed trying to spectate this round. <laughs> They're taking both sites at the same time. And I couldn't tell if Kadian was going to be the first one to see him or if it was going to be the B site hit, but well, the frags are there for Heroic. That's all that matters. Got to be careful, you know, with crossed eyes and webbed feet, DJ's going to start swimming in circles. <laughs> Rez, sorry, bud. Oh, no. Da-dum. Da-dum, 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 da -dum, da -dum. Okay. <laughs> no knife. No, sir. And no survival either. Poor Cadian loses his hand. S tag, clutch that up. Clutch it close. Oh, denied. As we get heroic, killing everyone. They grabbed it too? Do oh, they need they? to? I didn't see if they, they got it. a Cadian one, right? So they wouldn't need to, but Cadian died in the hall. So yeah, maybe they did need to. Oh man, that bounce. This was nice from Cadian though. Chasing down one kill. Gets away. <laughs> Res could feel the eyes on the back of his head. Seriously. And now it's just pistols. So, excellent here. Heroic, right back at it. Res dead in an instant. And we should be staring a tied game at three rounds apiece. Stown's gonna make me Okay, dizzy. come on. Whoa, get off of him. No, don't watch him. Kadian's got the headshot. So, all is going swimmingly. This is a perfect round for Heroic. But then again, ninjas shouldn't be able to do anything at all. Sure enough, they get one, and they'll take one. Better than nothing, but we are tied. Yes, so their claws are in early. 
This is a pretty fantastic start from Heroic, all things considered, especially considering how few they've lost, and I think how cool the uh, the defaults have been. I mean, the way they've spread out, things are already looking a little different. That uh, play where they grouped up at the top boxes and then exploded around Connector and Cat, I thought that actually looked great. Obviously, that's a position where you could be the victim of a lot of nades, especially if they come lined up from the window. But if you don't think the team's going to do it to you, absolutely something you might want to try. Ooh, Stown going through that? Yeah, but they're they're going to escape out of it. Actually, Rez is moving up forward. There's no support for Rez in this position, so this is instantly a bad play. He's in a pocket, though. Yeah. I mean, you know, silver lining. He at least gets to take yeah, a fight he, top mid before he dies. He does, yeah. I wonder why he, he signed up to do that. He could have obviously gone to connector. Maybe had a misread on what default was coming. But this is what Heroic want, basically. Stown would love for S attack to keep crawling forward. Oi, he actually gets dinked. Falls back. Frag. Barely hits S attack. Looks like it had a bit too much oomph on it. And a smoke for top connector to potentially enable bomb to split up the catwalk into that B site. Now, Hampus has taken a forward position on Cat. While well, Yabby and Plopsky are about to duel on B. And again, it's an invitation to hit this B site. Hampus, he's ahead of the bomb though. He goes back at Cat, takes down one. Kadian with the close range off, but here's S attack coming out and catching him off. And Yabby hadn't managed to get through that door just yet. There's a timing. Oh, S attack! He gets the headshot, but where's Stown at? On the flank, and he doesn't know it. Yeah, he's no getting from oh. cover to cover. Now he knows. And he's got a health advantage here. Time advantage too. Reconfirming Stown on the exit. s -Attag. 1v3. Yeah, that's a big clutch from s -Attag. He came in. There was no hope there. That was a desperate situation. Absolutely. The last man to linger in through that doorway, and he ends up fragging out. Like, this is a, a, huge, a huge one for the ninjas to take again, especially considering how good this round was for Heroic for a fourth time in a row. Am I crazy? I feel like we're playing Battlefield with the amount of fights that are happening all across the map at all times. There's That's... like airstrikes, there's tanks, perks, I don't know what. But it's it's never just little one and dones. There's so much simultaneous action. Yeah. I, that's why it's so fun to watch heroic play versus anybody. They force you to do that, so... God, carnage. There's maybe another one of those situations. Here they come. Out the ramp. Full commit. Full speed ahead. Jabby's got nothing yet. Brolin comes around from the smoke. A ton of damage, but not a second kill. Two-thirds of the way there. And that could set up Jabby for a multi-kill. Esetag scoped in. He's got to go grab Bomb, though. Not ideal for the T side, but they've got time. Tess creeps from bottom mid. Set of eyes and window. Oh, Rez. No, lucky to be alive. Hampus, oh. he'll come back, pick up the slack, and push this to the 2v4. It's low health on Rez. Three quarters for Hampus. And Shush is in the sight, but the bomb's not. Nice wall bang. Could have done it right then and there. A second finds the mark. Grenade goes too far, and it's enough to just serve up that final kill. Uh, the ninjas deliver again. You, maybe you noticed that Brolin almost got the first Fama spray transfer in history. He was this close. That was, uh, but this is all because they came out fast, and that is, a, uh, you know, it's a gift and a curse to be able to be comfortable playing this aggressively. But of course, that means you do have to skip some stuff. And even though they mollied under Balk and Brolin smoked it standard, they forgot about him, and they were worried about other things. They were running to scale past stairs really quickly. If they took a couple extra seconds there, they would have had a much cleaner round. And then you have Tessis, who can't find that window player, and I think that's where it's just too, a bridge too far. 3v2 swings the other way, and NIP close out. Put Heroic on these pistols. Mixed by. But still a force. Now, this actually, I think, is all to escort down into the window, maybe, but I actually don't take the space off of that. I'm not sure if he tried to get in or not. Oy. But Heroic just used a lot of utility or kind of left with nothing. I feel like something went wrong here. But they get connector. Finding a little footing. Those shots obviously heard. And Jabby's thinking about walking this one up. One of the limited players with the Deagle, Brolin. Oh, not ideal. Shush, shaving him off the side of ramp. 
Look at that, they pull everybody out of the B site. Jabby decides to strike, ton of damage. Hampus just got shot in the face, but survived the Deagle somehow. They're so confused right now. Oh, again, it's another one of these wild rounds. Yep. Rez has managed to get through underground, but because they get up jungle, are they gonna commit to B? They're still committing B, wow. And then Plopsky just gets wrecked. It might not matter. What is happening? Hamp is fully split. Rez wants to get into the action. He finds them at a distance, and that bomb carrier still got a chance, but he's been found by Hampus. And Stown, you've got 12 seconds to make these kills happen. You'd think Rez could just hide, but they play it in the off chance Stown's coming. Instead, he goes and saves that op. What the hell are these rounds? Uh, I need, like, a timeout for myself to figure that out. The, I think... All right, if this is, like, an ultra-sick read by me, I think what happened was... <laughs> If this, I mean, this might be, you know, maybe not. They, when they killed Yabby, they wanted to go B because Yabby is always lurking on every map. Hard lurking, too, for one setups. So I think what they thought was that ninjas are going to overthink it, leave the B site after getting that frag, go back to A. But obviously, on paper, just the best rotation you possibly can have in a situation like that and going underpass. As you clear out the B apps and you start a flank towards A. All in one go. Another round here with limitations for Heroic to try and overcome. But Stown's got the op. Some say the best op in Denmark. <laughs> yeah. That's Nika Dawes. Oh, right. Careful, Hampus. They're close. Dangerously close. He said, Yump on in. Come on, guys, I'm waiting. <laughs> and he will continue to wait. Kadian kind of gives him a warning sign with his little hands popping through the side of the window. Hampus wants a little bit more action, and they'll go ahead and shut down the entirety of that mid play, op included. Only Rez dead thus far. Shush trying to swing with the Tech 9, but no, sir. It's the Ninjas with another CT round win. Yeah. They're making DJL proud uh, today. There's some, been some great CS out of NIP. And this one also kind of stands in the face of the statistics that they pull it out. It just does feel like a map that Heroic probably should win. It's not been a great map recently for Nip, but this, this, yeah, this, the CS they're bringing today, this Mirage, they are looking very good. And um, the three rounds that Heroic won also looked very good. This kind of feels like Inferno in a lot of ways. But this half is completely getting away from Heroic. Another save. Nade for no one. Roland trying to suck it in. Minimizing behind boxes, and there's no commit, not yet. That's fine, plenty of time, but then they lose Tessas. Rez keeping things sharp, the B-Lurk also removed. It's not Jabby, but instead Kadian. Now the sad reality of the situation sinks in. Nothing to work with, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. An inevitable push forward into a primed Brolin, but he actually drops off, so a little space here. Get a headshot, you got a bomb plant. Wait too long, Hampus will kill you. I accept the trade. Here it comes. He's got them all. Or at least the first. Oof, there's the kill. You know, that's the headshot they want, but in reality, you want that forward facing towards the bomb site, so maybe the plant also can connect, but not this time. They're in cruise control right now. I mean, they've already overcome what looked like a really strong start from Heroic. Now they're just eclipsing them in rounds. They're still on CT, which is their site to end on. Oh, with guns back in their hands, see if they can extinguish the momentum and the fire. Ninjas are currently burning them with. Mid control's kind of been troublesome. We get to see Heroic bottom con at times, but Following through, either up cat into A. Gets stamped out more often than not. So, 
Let's keep things classic. Full-blown exec into the A-site. Yeah. See if Brolin can do something special. Body box of smoke. Tess with a clear route into default. Down finds Brolin. I think he just gave it a shot. <laughs> yeah, and he was standing on the ticket. Thought he was going to catch him off. Here comes Jabby into the jungle side. So just full exec works wonderfully for Heroic. Yeah, this is too hard. You lose your CT Beautiful. player that fast. Yeah. Beautiful. That's it. Comes down to just like three bullets in a row from Stown. Kind of feels like, you know, we're talking about how aggressive they've been and how crazy and wild and zany these rounds were. Well, this one, they kind of just stop, take a breath, go to the exec. Oh. You see pretty Boone? quick, but. There's one. There's two. No, surely not. Bombs at the halfway point. This is winnable. We saw some incredible retakes go down on Inferno. There's no way Cadian's comfortable, but he's still fighting tooth and now. And he's got Stown with him alongside Tessus. So things get sketchy for a second, but three standing as Heroic find a round. Yeah, a good effort. Um, it's, it's, it, it, the problem with losing the CT player so fast is just like, even if it does, your, the T's don't go there. Like he just, I think he just starts shooting, yeah. Sounds just so good at that. And him and Brolin seem to go head-to-head -head in that regard all the time. Yeah, all of Inferno down banana. Yeah. But, you know, smoke spams and stuff like that, huge part of the game. That's why he does them so consistently. But, yeah, you lose a CT player that early, and no one can be sure that they haven't pushed CT. That's where it's just like, ah, oh, do we retake? But they had that big flank coming in, so it made sense that they tried the commitment. Still some money here for Nip. Off as well. Op is posted over on the A hall, so they'll retest Plopski, who does not have a Molly for himself. But has been playing very well. Does Hampus have a nade to help? Could come from short. Yeah, he's got a full kit, so he can drop that where they jump out. It can come down to if he's blind, he can't throw it. They've been throwing some really good flashes on this attack. Plopski keeping his eyes in the sky right now. T side throwing out the mid smokes. Trying to drag Hampus as far as they can before exacting. It's working. Too far back, and he Ooh. loses his sight anchor. Next duel almost goes the way of Javi, and then as Hampus is throwing a flash out, maybe trying to set up Brolin from market. There's another casualty versus the ninjas. It's only S to tag over on A site, so that goes exactly how they wanted, right? That little bit of utility towards mid puts Hampus in an unoptimal spot. And a fifth for Heroic's T-side. Yeah, they, I mean, they peached up Hip Plopsky there for sure. That was a really sick clear from Yabi. He's actually already up to 10. It's a good series. Yeah, and it's kind of key entries sprinkled in here and there that are making the difference. And he wears a couple of hats, right? He's not always the entry. In fact, most of the time he's hard lurking, but on this exec, he was the executioner. quick ones there from Heroic as they look to stabilize. Went exactly how they would have pictured it. Couldn't have asked for a better result. And at a pretty important time as well. Final two rounds of this half coming at you. And the ninjas, their economy will dry up. Numerically in the lead no matter what. But you know they'd love another. These guys are gonna try to scramble back and ooh, <laughs> shush, Stown, Katie, and Tessess. Give one to Jabby and we got the team ace. But instead, Tessess is gonna take two servings. Man's gotta eat. Yeah, and Nip playing for kind of max nine here, but you know, perfect time to save. They'll come into the last round with their full buy up again. Some great ideas. I mean, it's been a very fun half. We've seen some great ideas out of Heroic. And even though there was this early start, you could see... It, well, it was actually an early start for Heroic, and then a huge streak from Nip. So you could always see that Heroic were still in the game. I feel like we've seen different 15 different set plays out of Heroic. Maybe they've repeated an A hit twice, but overall, a ton of variety.
Flopsky versus Yabby. It's a fun head to head, to be honest. It is, yeah. But there's no support here. Hampus, he's not even up catwalk like he was last time around. Yeah, they're actually not pressuring B apps at all in any of these rounds, and I think they're getting too comfortable. Okay, well, there's that pressure. Yep. Little X factor on this one. Kadian, he hit that shot, but he didn't get the kill. He sprints for market. Where is he going? Hello? Cutting off rotates. What is this? Kadian goes so deep that Rez doesn't have a chance. Now, Bomb is actually top mid. Plopsky, they've kind of lost track of him in all this. And he could very well pull one with him, but he won't. Now, the CTs, they start this retake as if Bomb's about to go down. Little do they realize they don't have to rush this. But Shush gets shaved off. Health advantage and man advantage, the way of heroic to close. Oh, the bomb. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Okay, all good. <laughs> That's the way she goes. Kadian, no bomb needed when he's pushing through market with an op like a madman. Just a ton of different looks across that T side. They'll now swap over to the defense as they hope to keep their dreams alive. They want to dodge the showdown. And there's only eight rounds between the ninjas and them stealing that away. Yeah, I think both teams have a lot that they can feel good and bad about. I think the fans won in that first half. Lots of really cool rounds to look back on. And um, interesting sways and momentum. But now we swap over to CT. And they haven't played, I don't think, with Yabi. They haven't played with Yabi on Mirage yet. And it looks like he's getting his spot over on Cat. Oh, Tessess. Oh. Oh, Tessess. Uh oh. No kill inside sight. That's a flood of the ninjas right into B. Five versus three. Decent amount of damage, but an 11th kill for both Essatag and Brolin with those openings. Mm. Yeah, O is right. So another pistol round win. Assuming the double man disadvantage is enough to close with. Plopsky versus Kadian. Oof. Nicely done. Kadian oh. and Shush, in fact, they start to get this going. 4-5. Oh. You are kidding me. With the 10-second defuse. Yeah, that's big. Hit the Bernie. He's got the mute down just for his teammates. <laughs> oh, my God. I can only imagine the obscenities he just screamed. 5v3 in a post plant, and Kadian kicks it off with that. Yeah, they all just hit some great shots right here uh man this one Ooh, oh that's, that's shush that's disgusting hey a few bullets got missed there from nip but that was capitalization with a capital c oh my oh game on eight all what looked like a surefire pistol win instead nets them a single ak for brolin mac 10 on plopsky at least they've got grenades to play but i mean that's going to fire up Heroic. Yeah. What's funny was NIP have a really strong pistol round win percentage. And as soon as they got that 5v3, it's like, oh, just another one that they win. They're like up to 70, even in the, though they've lost a lot of their maps. That one might tilt them. Love the amount of utility coming into this round, though. Kadian with a bit of a takeover here, leading Heroic, 16 frags. Hell, leading the server, in fact. Nice forward setup from Heroic towards top mid. Stown's keeping an eye on underground. Javi's waiting for Brolin to round that corner. And as the utility's thrown out, you can throw all the utility in the world, you're gonna have to circumvent the double M4. They peek at the perfect moment, but Hampus draws this back. His tech nine is something different. Yeah, that was well done from him. Three right, spotted, so. still Tess alive. Yeah, didn't expect the peek out from Tess Plopsky grabs Bomb back. He could just eject and try to join s -Tag in middle. 30 seconds, not a lot of time, but at least the AK upgrade comes through. Maybe s -Tag unarmored can do something spectacular. They face him off Cat. He gets one down. Plopsky, he's going to miss his chance to kill Jabby. 22 seconds on the clock. Stown tucked into the triple box, and that ends that. Yeah, that's uh, the end of that. That's uh, That was kind of a crazy round. I mean, there's a good setup there from Heroic. They Again, a lot of utility came into it, and it looked like as a ta or Hampus maybe was going to put together two kills and make that possible. But the armor plays a factor overall. Heroic setup was really good. They were playing close to the players who were throwing utility, so they did have an edge when it came to swinging. 
They made sure to take up Roland before his gun could be steadied. And now they'll take a lead in this game as well. But yeah, that also, you know, maybe there's some upside here for, like, in terms of the switch with refresh. Because some people were, you know, saying, oh, statistically, he was a lower rated player for Heroic. But also, spots wise, it's a one to one fit, like here on Mirage, for example, where Jabby just gets to play exactly where he wants. Not this round, though. Hap is somehow managing the kitchen wall bang onto Arch with a Deeg. It's not every day those happen, but you take them when you can get them. Sure, it feels like a bit of a shame that it comes in a round that should be a waste. They throw out that last piece of utility for the ninjas, one of the very few. Pack of players top mid, a duo over on A site. Right now, heroic stacked appropriately. There it is. Flopsky's been seen. Oh, he just got by. Acadian, point blank, easy. Finds himself three kills with the MP9 and just evaporates any hope there from the ninjas. A Glock on S attack, not much longer. It's double digits first here for Heroic. Momentum after that 3v5 pistol. <laughs> I could hear him from outside, downstairs, <laughs> just barely. I just missed that. Wow. Okay. Well, CT for Heroic and no questions. All right. Less questions for themselves as well. Again, integrating someone into the T side of things is a lot harder. Tessa started connector here. Well, this is interesting. I mean, just off of, they have full buy, but just off of spawns. They're all in brand new spots. Heavy mid control, a totally empty B site. It's kind of ballsy. But it's also a good call out. Nobody sussing out the B site here for the ninjas. Is going to be working on his own if he tries to start challenging some of these angles. Oh, this is a weird one from him. I don't know if they're drawing attention. Not really, no. Tessa's just sitting at the bottom connector because they have top mid watched. Oof. And that's the whole point. But uh, at least Brolin grabs this. Stair speak could come on. Yikes. Hampus caught with nades out. Plopski, same thing. Ooh. Good double from Tessa. Just finishes what he started against Hampus. And Jabby comes out from the hidey hole to give a comfortable 4v1 to Heroic. So far, CT side, rock solid. Yeah, uh, they were, there was a bit of a mismatch on the spacing there between Brolin and Rez. If they attacked, if Brolin had got that window kill first, and that was a pure duel where they were both holding for each other, and then Rez came out after, you know, Tessa's either wouldn't be there anymore, or he might be distracted to top mid, and then Rez could get the kill. So I guess wrong order of operations, or I'm not sure if they thought something else was going to happen, but. Heroic, very comfortable in that position. Yeah, three round lead, nice and early. Tons of money starting to grow as well in their back pockets. So Ninja's gonna have to show us something or we start looking towards overpass. Idea was there, but we'll see if they can tidy things up. Here, Plopsky, he just gets taken down without even a gun in hand. Sent scrambling by the five. And a tough spot here for the ninjas. AK for Brolin. Pistols elsewhere. And a quick flood of heroic players. Again, they're going to show and try to play for that top mid. Now remember, we had a completely unstaffed B site last round. Nobody from the Swedes went and checked it out. Well, right now, Tess is being pulled off already. They fully assume this is the A setup. And Yabby gets S a tag and they on lose. the way to B. Yeah, two players down. It's not ideal, but at least they'll get a chance to challenge Tessas while he's alone. He just rocks Ooh. their world, though. Rez dead in an instant. Plopsky's gonna pick up one. Ooh, make Ooh. it two. And a bomb plant. That's something to work nope. with. Not even. Oof. Stown finds him in the middle of it all, but I felt a little nip magic. Yeah, that was that was cute by Plopsky. 
Man, I, I think... I think the huge worry, and just this would be for any team, but going up against Heroic, but like Heroic are already, without conditioning, without feeling out the map or anything, are very comfortable taking things over aggressively right away. They've been in top mid every single round. They have left the B site entirely. That makes the map feel tiny if you're not in the spots that they're not covering. And right now, Nip aren't. They're not putting forward aggressive pressure on the B apps lurk. They aren't even noticing that there's no one in the B site in the first 30 seconds of the round. And uh, Heroic are still doing aggressive things that are working out beautifully. Getting a bit outclassed now. Oi. Look good to me. Just a little too quick. Yeah, you can just feel that like confidence, that electricity. Cadian's P250 spamming through a smoke because he knows that Tess and Jabby are just gonna pick up those fights. Oof. And then Stown finds another into Plopsky. This, so far, is a perfect CT side. Cadian will get dropped. But what more can Esetek truly do here? He's got a fight on both sides of middle. Shush looking to add himself to this fight. So a trio of players, and it's only Jabby needed. Again and again since that 3v5, it's nothing but heroic wins. Yeah, I think Inferno and the first half of this uh, Mirage, I couldn't really tell who was actually playing better. They're keeping up with each other, but so far in the second half, it feels like heroic are way far ahead of Nip. Uh, I'm not even sure if they're kind of prepared. And again, the big concern is just the idea that these some things are happening right now that Nip haven't even learned about yet. They haven't even learned about yet. They haven't tested. So now they'll have to save again going up against 14. And it looks like they might uh, restart this one. Yeah. A couple of Tic Tacs in chat. They're not like... Guys, why, I called for rotate. Why didn't you flash for me? You know, why don't you love me? These are questions you ask yourself. 15 rands later. Ninjas starting to smell a desperation. They got some pistols. They got an early foothold here inside Connector, but... Uh, Brolin versus Shush, AK versus Tech 9. Hampus always good for one, of course. Brolin, not so much. Hampus already down to sub half health. There's a walkout potential here for Plopsky on ramp, and if Cadian's caught with nades out, that could have been the end of him. It'll need to be the quick scope. And he falls into the cover. Gonna play it safe. We'll get to see if uh, Nip can really lose three times in a row on overpass, maybe. Hampus promised that it's... Hampus promised us it wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. I don't know Hampus to be a liar. But he is sneaky, though. He is sneaky. Well, he snuck his way up Cat. Snuck his way to an M4. And now he's dead. <laughs> the shortest Wikipedia article of a life. <laughs> and as expected, the pistol players follow suit. Heroic will show no sign of slowing down on this defense. Prison, racism, death. <laughs> I mean, tell me, tell me why Nip are gonna win okay, now. Help. I, I can't. You're supposed to be the optimistic guy. I'm pretty optimistic. Cap. Optimistic Heroic's gonna close this game 16-8. All right, now that's definitely not gonna happen. <laughs> Stown falls away from it, window. It literally was. I've used my casting wizardry. Gonna try it again, Brolin. He almost got into jungle last round. Ooh, Tess clears out all of apartments, so it actually pulls the players off of B, but then they go up Cat Jesus. instead. It, there's just this vacuum of <laughs> map control that's happening right no now. Way. This is so awkward. An all-in Cat, unspotted. They're like, how is this going to turn into an A exec? Now you're just coming in from Cat. I mean, they just fully think it's A now. Tess doesn't see a thing. I, okay, this is the, the game they were playing with the gap of information, of course, that they've been leaving every round, but this is the first time that NIP have found their way through. And now they're confused, too. <laughs> because Tessus is alive. Just hilarious that this is coupled with nothing inside apartments. Tessus is here for the retake on A. He's ready. Oh, 
All right, little game of cat and mouse, and in this case, the mouse gets away. He walked the entire way to a safe. That's boring. Yeah. That was funny. But it is just a breadcrumb of a tea side so far. One round here for ninjas. And they left a little tricky top connector smoke with a gap just on the left side there for Brolin to get a kill. Round win's a round win, but it is a weird one. Four players walk cat. Tess calls, no way it be. That was cool. Stown's legs get caught. This was a confusing one, probably for Yabby. So it won't be that flawless CT side. You know, it was once NIP got 14 rounds that Heroic got their first on Inferno. It's true. That ended 16-14. Fortunately for the ninjas, it's not looking as promising, and Hapis he is not destined for anything other than the flames. Frag Grenade follows. That'll take him down to two-thirds his health. Rez wants a fight, but Cadian's going to pull this one back. Oh, fortunately for us, I don't know if he was spotted on the jump peak there from Kadian, but I don't know. What can he leverage out of this? They're already going to start clearing out halls. They're like, yo, Nib, we don't have all day. If you want to just play this round out slowly, we're going to clear everything else. If you're in B, we're fighting you. If not, you lose. And, uh... Yeah, double full flank coming out just past a minute, so real early here. And everybody's just ready for the A hit now. That I don't even know if Nip know this is coming in, but they're just getting flanked from everywhere. Rez about to be dead. Tess keeps it nice and clean. And all the while, we've got Stown wrapping around T-Spawn, so unfortunately for S attack, his destined knee looks the exact same. We will get something back, but there it is, right? Nestatag tries to peel away, thinks maybe he can go elsewhere, and we've just got heroic players everywhere at all times. Yeah, right now they're just way better. It's I can't even think of any solace here for a nip. I just think they're so outclassed. They're so far behind. If this played out 30 rounds in the second half, it feels like heroic would win 25 probably. I think the Inferno, of course, there was that comeback, but I think it was predicated on seeing some life out of heroic in the first place. And it's not that Nip are, are, are like doing anything badly, they just don't look good enough here on Mirage right now. So, I don't know, one full buy uh, to potentially end things, to change our minds, and uh, a really hefty grenade that actually catches three on the cross. Straight away. It's down pressing in, Brolin's right there. Gets a rotate on the smoke and gets an opening kill, so. Heroic not going to give the ninjas what the ninjas gave Heroic on map one. A chance to bounce back on a T side. Looking highly unlikely. Jabby confirming numbers. Teammates nearby. Puts out the fire. He'll just hope. Minimize himself. Oof. But that's a take. Two legs. They both exchange shots. Both offers still standing. Gonna try to maybe flex their way up cat. That's the one thing that worked, was walking four players up catwalk. The only difference is this one has definitely been spotted. B site heavily stacked with the two, comfortably inside it. There's no reason for Heroic to move. They'll just wait for the confirmation. But even now, it's down a little hesitant to move. Tess he gets one, and Jabby gets nothing. So it is in fact still open for the bomb plant. Stown just made the window jump, I think. Yep. Wow. And Essa Tag posted on the angle, but Stown's got the right side peak. An advantage, and a massive advantage in HP as well. So, heroic. Congratulations. I mean, this Mirage map, <laughs> this is just, this is just damning. Uh, yeah, you think it's over? Oh, I think this is over. Plopsky, he's got nowhere to run. Although now there's four of the five players, incredibly low. It's going to be Hampus versus Stown. Huge health advantage. And there it is. Ooh. Nice and easy. Exactly what Heroic were hoping for to rebound off what felt like 